hi guys this is day two of our road trip through uh, Uganda we are now in uh, Renwazuri as you can see the background of the mountain is absolutely beautiful people actually live here and farm here so you will find houses in between the different levels of the mountain we are on the way to Semaliki and as you can see my baby here road trip Uganda it has been taking us um, around we were yesterday in Murchison's in Ziwa Rhino Lodge and also did the top of the falls absolutely amazing the region here is actually my favorite right now because I love the mountains and I love um, the feeling it gives to you so if you do do come to Uganda you must do this part of it it's absolutely brilliant it's amazing
is the viewpoint. Look at that. Is that absolutely wicked or is it not wicked? That's the viewpoint. I want to see what's on the sign. I haven't looked very much at what's on the sign. Maybe we need to take a picture of that. Ah, there you go. It says, welcome to Toro Semliki Wildlife Reserve Activities Game Drive. So the walk, 14 kilometers. Awesome. Let's take a picture. So guys, this is one of the viewpoints when you are doing the drive back from uh, Samaliki and it's cool because you can pull off the road otherwise it's like very challenging to find somewhere to stop but you have a beautiful view into the valley and it's actually quite nice there's a lake bus coming those buses are like for inter-city transport um, in between the different cities but look at these small uh, butterflies I don't know where they're coming from but there's so much of it and it's really beautiful so if you do do the route make sure you stop here and get this view this this place is actually quite a dangerous spot for vehicles so we we have a truck who's failing to climb the um, incline and I think it needs to be rescued so that truck cannot make the incline and this road actually gets quite damaged from heavy duty trucks as you can see right on this spot you have a lot of potholes and it's because the road was actually not built to sustain such heavy duty trucks and some of them are not in the condition that they need to be to be able to climb it so we have here these potholes resulting from heavy duty trucks climbing this road and the incline